terrible accident in room 51, just ghastly. Care of every stain there is? What a glorious stain. Do you require fresh linens? Yeah. Makes this place. His loyal minion. He said she could get a stain out of anything for Mr. March. Using a secret ingredient. Love. I'll fetch you a clean shirt. You are a pillar. Oh, Mr. Varch. No, I really don't know. Or well, the part of me wishes you would go first so I could launder the sheets. There's no time for that, is there? I will go first. Would you do me the honor of making me your last one? Your last meal? I hear she checked out. I don't like my costume. My costume. Mm -hmm. Nothing's good enough for you, Mr. Bellyache. Shake a leg. I like to be punctual. About all the stops, didn't you, with that ex I'm so envious. You look so lovely. Who is it? I'm working on these sheets. Dinner. It happens every year. I lost my boy on Halloween, so every year I go a little mad, and I make a mess get a, a handle on the sheet situation. I didn't see you. I wasn't paying attention. It's my fault. <laughs> I should have made him a proper costume, like all the children. Sheet is a plain old sheet. Why didn't I pay more attention? I feel like I'm living in a walking nightmare. Would you like a sherry? Why weren't you careful, Mummy? Love me, Mummy. <laughs> Evers. Hazel Evers. You can call me Hazel. <laughs> oh, my. There's so much to do before the shindig tonight, and so little. His autumnal banquet is the event of the year. Harlot! Yeah. Those Nordic types, they have no respect for fresh linens. It's not in their culture. It's a well-known factor. You too. Get out of my room. I haven't collected the pillowcases yet. Get out of my room! Getting cold, Mr. March. Perhaps your guests should be mindful. Yes, Mr. March. Fagua. It's surprising how delicious a little cruelty can taste. For any man. Excuse me, who are you? Suicide. Why else would you agree to marry that poisonous leech of a... You marry the Countess, you will die. Me, sir. Once she puts the ring on your finger, she will bleed you dry. He chose to love her instead. My father, I adore you. I depend on you. Look at this suit I'm wearing. <laughs> You're a genius. Beauty. It's not your fault you were graced with different gifts. Survives her. Please leave. So be it will reach out to me for help and mercy, and in return, I will watch you die with a smile on my face because I will know that once you are gone, I will get the chance to clean the blood and shit out of that pretty form aware of yours. <laughs> you have the dates now. That's right, dear one, whole week, your papa's treat. What's that? He wants to know why now. Ask, but alas, I cannot. The bank statement always let me know that each one cleared. You don't know exactly the young man's aspect. Eh? Fairies knew never to father children. It would, it would only add to the mayhem. He's always getting into his sister's penoir and stockings. And, and then one day, he found his place, his station in life. He took his comfort in the sacramental vestments. He might have become a Monsignor had he not succumbed to his appetite. No, all I know is some poor boy threw a ball in the backyard and suddenly... So now here comes this same little boy 
to visit someone he's always longed to see. And instead, he's going to be confronted by the ghost of Theda Barra. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a fright indeed. That's enough. Where's that item you promised me? You haven't forgotten your end of the bar. <laughs> Go nuts. <laughs> oh, who would have thought? <laughs> Oxygen in the soap. Yes. For God's sake, look. Radiant white, it says. You are an absolute marvel. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. The lungs. Thank you. You mustn't have an argument on an empty stomach. It upsets the balance of the day. Tap, tap. That's Morse code for he's coming up the stairs. It's the most beautiful thing I have ever... For cold oh. and toast. Oh, and no more ringing. I must tell you, your son has been perched in the blue pit. Oh. Not sure what I can do to help them. Hang themselves soon enough. I'll come back. Post-mortem excrement. Dane challenge of them all. <laughs> 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 then we have a little accident. Oh, my. Use the vacuum. Where's the bag? Do you remember the first time, Miss Evers? When I had intimacies with the opposite sex. Yes. But I had you to steady my hand. You were my rock, Mr. March. Yes. Chipped beef on top. What do you feel? That one fact erases a multitude of sins. For the police. I knew that they would come, and I knew that you would never allow yourself to be captured. To die. Together. So that you can see the depth of my devotion. Have you seen no evidence of my love? Do you feel nothing at all? Can you see me now? I have laid myself bare. Give me a word, Mr. March. Let me be happy. I, I feel... Strangely free. I will no longer wait on you and your whore. You are in heaven and earth, then are dreamt of in your philosophy. We've all grown rather fond of you, and possibly murder you.